Hey guys, Jamie the Divine Seer here. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing great. So, like the video on your way in. Um, it's an energy exchange for me and other readers. It helps us get in the algorithm, but it's also like something that, you know, could be like a donation to us. All right. Because it does really help. And if you subscribe to my channel, if you have not already, only if you like my energy and you like how I read, subscribe to my channel. It helps me pick up on the energies as well um, in the collective. Okay. So you are going to see some incense that is not orbs. You may see orbs, but mostly this is um, smoke um, from the incense. So thank you to all my new members here. Thank you so much. We have a beautiful soul family here. Thank you for joining I am doing personal readings. I am back doing personal readings. So if you would like to um, book a personal reading with me, email me. Everything is in the description box. If you want to send me a donation, please make sure you're sending it to the right person and the right spelling because there are people impersonating me. I will never come to you for readings unless you reached out to me before, like a month ago when I kind of had to take a step back because of family things. Um. I will go and like let the people know that already like kind of sent me something about readings. If you want to book a personal though, I will never come to you for emails. I mean, you know, email you or come to you for readings. Um, use your discernment and intuition when it comes to these readings. You guys watch enough tarot readings to understand. So if this reading, if this video gets on your feed, there is a message for you. So with that being said, I've been getting like a lot of messages already. So I'm going to talk about Archangel Jophio because Archangel Jophio um, came in. I asked my guides if I needed to sage and they said yes. And then I went to go pick up the sage and they said Jophio and I do have the incense Jophio. So I'll bring that in. But Jophio is here protecting and um, clearing our space. The other thing is I was hearing Tiny, Tiny Dancer by Elton John, which is weird because I don't like listen to Elton John, but that song came in. Um, so I'm going to read the lyrics a little bit and then we're going to get into some of the messages because I was picking up on some like shamanic abilities some of you have and like, you know, really delving into who you are. Blue Jean Baby, LA Lady, Seamstress for the Band, Pretty Eyed, Pirate Smile, You'll Marry a Music Man. Ballerina, you must have seen her dancing in the sand and now she's in me, always with me. Tiny dancer in my hand. Jesus freaks out in the street, handing tickets out for God. Turning back, she just laughs. The boulevard is not that bad. Piano man, he makes his stand in the auditorium. You guys could be a musician or like music might mean something to you too, or dancing. Looking on, she sings the songs, the words she knows, the tune she hums. But oh, how it feels so real, lying here with no one near, only you and you can hear me when I say softly, slowly, hold me closer, tiny dancer, count the headlights on the highway, lay me down in sheets of linen, you had a busy day today. <clears throat> hold me closer, tiny dancer, count the headlights on the highway, lay me down in the streets of linen, you had a busy day today. Blue Jean Baby, LA Lady, seamstress for the band, Pretty eyed, pirate smile, you'll marry music man. Ballerina, you must have seen her dancing in the sand. And now she's in me, always with me, tiny dancer in my hand. Oh, how it feels so real, lying here with no one near. Only you, and you can hear me when I say softly, slowly. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. Count the headlights on the highway. Lay me down in the sheets of linen. In sheets of linen, you had a busy day today. And then it goes on to say the same thing. There's something inside of you that wants to come out. There is something inside of you that wants to come out. And I feel like some of you do have shamanic abilities. I feel like some of you um, are connected so like strongly to nature and strongly to like butterflies and rainbows and birds and everything else. The universe is talking to you. God is talking to you. Your spirit team is sending you signals and signs that whatever you believe in, you know, it doesn't matter what you believe in or anything else. The bottom line is whatever signs they're showing you, don't dismiss them. They are showing you signs for a reason. If you've been feeling this urge to listen to like Native American drumming or some sort of, sh you know, going to a sh shaman class or some of you have shaman lineage that you don't know about, really tap into that 
because I feel like it's going to help you to navigate where you're supposed to be in this lifetime on your path. I was also hearing something about divine abilities, like divine, your divine presence. There's something about your presence that makes people like um, almost feel like they're magnetized to you, like almost feels like your magnetism. You might be going through a glow up right now or going through ascension because of the simple fact that, you know, there's so many things that are coming out in you and this tiny dancer I'm feeling like some of you want to either take a dance class or like go dancing or like you feel like dancing, your soul is dancing. And there's something about you feeling something within you that needs to come out. And it could be having to do with your abilities and your lineage. So tap into that. I want to go into Archangel Jophiel just to see why Jophiel came up because that was so interesting. Um... Just give me a second. Archangel Schofield. Do, 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 do. Okay. Beauty and art. Wow. <laughs> Talk about things making sense. So Archangel Jophiel, which means beauty of God, is widely known as the angel of beauty. Um, thought to work with Christine. Your name could be Christine. So... So Jophiel is the true archangel of love and beauty and is known as one of the most beautiful beings in all of creation. Also, let me see. Creativity, beauty, and art. Okay, helps with manifesting more beauty in our lives through our thoughts, supports artists and artists, artistic projects, release judge, pre- prejudice and ignorance, Interior design, decorating, awakening, self-awareness, inspiration, hope, and joy. Wow. Talk about how things really do connect. Man, we are all connected no matter what. We are a collective for a reason. We all are one. So if you've been like feeling like your artistic abilities are coming up or feeling the call to do more creative like design or something like that, something about your creativity is starting to come online. And like I said about the dancing or music, there's something here having to do with maybe you want to become a musician or you've been writing songs, but you're kind of hesitant to put them out there or kind of hesitant to go out and dance or take a dance class. I know I mentioned that I think in one of my other videos, but this is coming very strongly with that tiny dancer. There's always something been within inside of you that you have been reluctant to show. And now it's starting to call to you more. So You need to observe and take the time you need to really focus on what's important to you. And if you're feeling called to, like, almost like, you know, like the monotony of the day, right? So everything is routine, right? When you're getting tired of routine or you're getting tired of the monotony, your soul is bored. Your soul is feeling dull, needing to do something different. This is part of it. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing somebody playing the guitar. There's something about somebody playing a guitar and like putting out there to the universe, like just by writing the songs and by saying the words, it's bringing whatever it is that you want towards you. Keep on like it's something about being lighthearted and feeling that feeling within you. I'm going to go into the Oracle cards and then we're going to go into the tarot and then we'll see what this has to do with. Um, So I don't know where the tarot is going to lead us, but I know the Oracle cards that came out were like, okay, I get it. So the first one is 23, soul satisfaction. Honor your uniqueness. Do what makes you feel good. Okay. There's something here too about a happy family. I feel like, yes, this man is doing the raking in the yard, but he's got a smile on his face. It makes him happy to pick up like the yard. You know, and then you have this kid that's watching a butterfly and then she's looking at the unicorn and the rainbow. And it's like, whatever is going to make you stand out, do it. Whatever, like, I feel like some of you want to be seen so bad and some of you want recognition for your work. I'm hearing artwork. Somebody might be painting too. A nice painter. You thought about painting. There's something about painting coming in as well. Whatever artistic gifts that you have, that's part of your uniqueness. Whether, you know, like I'm a psychic medium, right? I also do healings. I do a lot of other work besides that. But 
like, and I have the gift of prophecy. So I can tell you right now, like, that's one thing that I'm going to delve into is my gift of prophecy and my gift of uh, manifestation, as well as my gift of mediumship. So that's what makes me unique. But there's more to me than just what is meets the eye. There's more to me than what I tell you. Um, and I don't have to prove myself to you. I'm just telling you, like, that's part of what makes me unique. Now, what makes you feel good? Start doing it. I think a lot of you are going to start going outside more. And a lot of you are going to start grounding your energy and doing whatever makes you feel happy. And that's what's important. Because when you're doing something that makes you happy, you have that gratitude. You have that happiness and joy come within you and like spurt out. And then the next thing you know, you're bringing more happiness and joy to yourself. So whatever it is that's going to make you happy, whatever it is that is your unique talent, or your unique, your unique abilities, let them shine. Let them come out. Don't worry about judgment. Don't worry about what other people are going to say. Don't worry about anybody else's thoughts about you. It's not your business. Who cares? What matters is that you're happy with yourself and that you're happy with what you're doing. Because when we are literally working a job or doing something that we're bored in and we know our soul is calling us to do something else, that right there, you know there's something like more, okay? Number nine, open your heart. Love yourself, dare to be vulnerable. <laughs> See how she's got that light shining out of her heart chakra? <laughs> I think she's playing with the unicorn's mane. I'm not really sure. No, I think that's the heart chakra and how the heart flows down. A lot of you are, are being told to open your heart and told to like, you know, it's okay to be, it's okay to receive, right? Some of you have a tendency to when you receive something, you feel obligated to that person to give back to that person, even though you receive something that you've been asking for through another source. It doesn't mean you're obligated. When you have that obligated feeling, it's not a good feeling. It's that feeling of, oh man, I got to do this. Now I got to do this. Now yeah, that person gave me a gift. Now I got to give them a gift. If you have that feeling and it makes you aggravated and frustrated, that's not what that was. Be okay with receiving gifts. Be okay with receiving donations. Be okay with receiving whatever it is from source, whatever that you have inside of you. Be okay with receiving whatever it is being given to you without feeling like you have to give an obligation because that's the universe giving it to you. Stop feeling bad about, you know, whatever you're asking for. And then it comes in and you're like, ah, don't do that. <laughs> Receive with an open heart. When you open up your heart and you love yourself and you are truly, truly authentic and vulnerable and you put yourself out there, it's almost like the, thank you, I'm hearing opportunities start to come in. And a lot of you are manifesting opportunities, but yet you're pushing them away because you're scared of judgment. You're scared to show your true self. It's all about loving yourself first, putting yourself as a priority. When you open your heart, you're letting the universe know that you're ready. You're ready to receive whatever it is that you've been asking for. But you have to have an open heart. When you close off your heart, you won't get what you're asking for. You'll get more of nothing. So open your heart up to receive and love yourself. Put that love into yourself because that's what you're going to attract back. Number 14, stand in your power. Be passionate about your vision. Bring about positive change. Again, the heart chakra. I feel like a lot of you are so scared to step out of your comfort zone. And a lot of you are so scared to show the real you to the public. Maybe some of you want to start a platform. Maybe some of you want to be out in the public eye. Maybe some of you want to be an actor or actress and you're so scared you're not going to get the part because scared of rejection. Something you need to heal within yourself. Know you're strong. Know your abilities. Know your power. Stand in your power. Okay? Be passionate about everything in life. Because when you're more passionate about everything in life, that's what you're going to get. More passion about life more love for life, more zest, and more like um, they're saying like a, a kick in your step or something like that. Whatever you're going to do, whatever you're meant to do, you're going to bring about positive change. What's the, what, what's the fear in that? 
You know, sometimes I could be at a store or I could be out in public walking down the street or something like that. And I'll smile at somebody. You don't know if that person was going through a bad day. And then, you know, I do this to everybody. I'm just, I'm just this person. I give compliments when I'm compelled to give compliments. That's who I am. But the thing is, it's like some of you are not able to take compliments or some of you like are so scared to get out of your comfort zone. And the thing is, a simple smile, a holding the door open for somebody, walking an elderly person with a walker across the street, simple acts of kindness bring about positive change. And not only does it help the planet and help the collective because, they, you know, it sends ripples out to the universe, but it's also bringing that kindness and bringing that back to you. Some of you have already emailed me about, and I, I'm just so grateful <laughs> for whoever is listening to my video right now. Some of you have emailed me. I think I got about three emails so far just saying thank you and just telling me that I like, I inspire you. And I'm just so grateful. And that makes my heart sing because at least I know I'm doing my job. This is what I'm here for. Okay. I love to inspire. I love to empower. I love to help as much as possible. Am I filling up my cup first? Absolutely. But when you, when you're a person like me and you get these kinds of emails, it, it helps me to do this more because it makes me know that I'm making a difference in this world. And that's what I want to do, make a difference in this world. So thank you to those who have emailed me and let me know that I've inspired you. Thank you, because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. I appreciate you so much. And I'm so grateful in my thoughts. You are in my thoughts. I pray for you people. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just had to say that because that brought about positive change within me, but also it's making me want to do this more. <clears throat> 32, Cosmic be cosmic Ruby. I was going to say Cosmic Beauty. That's interesting. Cosmic Ruby. Be a peace ambassador. Practice Cosmic Mastery. I have a ruby that I wear on my ring finger. I was told to wear a ruby on my ring finger, and it does really help with grounding because I have copper with the ruby, and copper is really good for me because it helps to ground me. So some of you might be wearing a ruby or some of you might be called to the color red or to wear red. There's something about ruby and like being cosmic and like practicing peace in your cosmic mastery. Some of you are very unique to the point where you're out of this world and some people can't handle you. Some people don't know how to take you. You got to practice, you know, the law of discernment, but also practice like who you talk to about who you are. Be authentic, yes, but not everybody's going to understand your journey. Not everybody's going to understand who you are, and that is okay. It's not their job. It's not their job to understand you, and if they don't get it at that point, it's not your job to make them see who you are. It's not your job to make them understand where you're coming from. Sometimes that's just wasted energy. So your guides, your ancestors will start telling you and showing you who to talk to and who not to talk to about this spiritual stuff. Because there are a lot of people that do not believe in this stuff. I was just saying to Carla yesterday that my daughter has to write something on all fake sciences and all of the stuff that I believe in and all the stuff that I do, the tarot cards, um, you know, telekinesis, which I don't know if I have telekinesis yet, but eventually I'll figure that out. UFO, aliens, all the stuff I talk about, it's there's it's considered fake science. And she's got to write a, write a paper on it. And I'm like, can I talk to your teacher? And she's like, why? What's the point? You're just going to argue with somebody that's going to tell you that it's not real. And she's like, and I don't feel like getting into an argument about it. So I'm just going to write about the Yeti. I'm like, the Yeti is real. She's like, yes, I know, mom. I, I know. But so she's right though. When you get to the point where you just want to have your peace and you want to practice your mastery, practicing patience too is very, very strong. There's no point in arguing with people that are not going to see how unique you are. They're not going to ever see you. It's Stop trying to get approval. I don't know why this message is coming in, but somebody needs to hear this. Stop trying to get approval from people 
that don't matter. Stop getting, stop trying to be accepted because not everybody's going to accept you for who you are. And that is okay. That is not, that, that's, they're not ready for you yet. And some of you, when you come out, the people that didn't want to accept you, you're going to get other people that are going to accept you. And those people are going to realize after a while, holy shit, like that person's really got something. Kind of like when you have all these songs, right? And you're writing all these songs and you're sending the tapes out or you're trying to talk, you know, to somebody. And then all of a sudden, I don't know why I'm seeing the movie Coyote Ugly, but all of a sudden it's like you get all these no's because nobody believed in you. And then all of a sudden somebody does. And that person puts you on the radio and, and accepts you. And boom, it's like you go billboard, right? And then all of a sudden these other people are like, damn, I wish I would have gave that person a chance because look at that person's got that major single, made a lot of money, could have made me like better, all this kind of stuff. Remember, you're not meant to be in everybody's life. It's okay. You're not, you're not going to always be everybody's cup of tea. It doesn't matter. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I can give two shits. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. Don't care. <laughs> Just don't care. Um, I don't have to be accepted by anybody anymore. I don't fight for approval anymore. I don't do any of that stuff. I'm not a people pleaser. I don't conform to a lot of things. I am me. I am unique. This is me. I'm here to help my ancestral lineage, which I'm doing. My father showed up again in my dream today. So I was very, very happy that he did. But I, then I cried afterwards because I forgot that he passed. So it was really strong. But either way, my dad is helping me and helping my family. And by him helping me, I'm doing this, which he wants me to push forward with. He's very adamant about me keep going. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm honoring him by doing that. The bottom line is, it's okay to be you. Don't hold yourself back because other people don't want, don't see you the way you want them to. Nobody's going to see you the way you want them to. It doesn't matter. Somebody needed to hear that message. Who that was strong. Okay. Number 21, magic, magical crystal cave. I'm being shown light codes here as well as the infinity sign and a key. Amethyst might mean something to you. Some of you might want to wear amethyst or are called to amethyst or quartz. Switch on your inner light. Bring forward your gifts. Exactly what I was saying. Some of you may not feel or believe that you have abilities, but you do. Some of you may be thinking that you're crazy because you're hearing things in your head or you're seeing visions or you're having dreams with loved ones coming in. Excuse me, Spirit Burp, thank you. You're not crazy. This is just part of who you are. Your gifts are coming online. And I keep saying that because I keep seeing more people like almost like plugging into the server and then all of a sudden everybody's gift starts coming online. Bring forward your gifts. If you're a musician, if you write and you're like, say you're an author or whatever, and you've been like really holding yourself back, you're holding yourself back from showing the world what you can do. We are given these gifts and sometimes it's more like abilities and stuff like that. Some of you just have more talent and that's okay. But you hold yourself back a lot of times by not putting yourself on here. I can tell you right now, the first time I was on YouTube, I was scared shitless. I was so damn scared. I had videos five years ago. I only did like three or four and I didn't like the way I looked. Even when now I look back, I'm like, oh, I hated the way I looked, but I was unhappy back then. But I was talking about my galactic family and like, you know, being a galactic. I'm okay with being a galactic. I love being a galactic. Most of you don't know that about me. I don't care. This is who I am. But the bottom line is I was scared shitless to go on YouTube, but I did it. I would like, it took me two times to realize I love this. I want to go on more. And there have been people that have told me, take your face off of there because of spell work. Take your face off of there because you don't know what anybody's going to do to you. You don't know what they're sending you. I refuse to take my face off of here. I'm not scared. I'm going to keep on being me. This is who I am. I'm not going to do that because other people feel like it's better that they do that so that they're safer. I'm, I know I'm divinely protected. I know I'm super protected. I'm okay with that. Um, I have a whole army, <laughs> massive army 
of protection. So I'm good, but I'm not going to stop doing something because somebody told me to. That's just not me. Bring your gifts forward. Let people benefit. Thank you. Benefit from your gifts. Some of you have Reiki powers. Some of you are healers. And you don't even realize by touching a flower or by touching somebody's hand or by giving somebody a hug or whatever it is, your presence, just your presence is a gift. Your energy is a gift to a lot of people. So just you, like, um, like my daughter, I told her when she paints, I said, when you paint, it brings out a lot. And I said, I could feel your healing powers going into that painting. And someday you're going to sell these paintings. And when they, you sell these paintings, literally her healing powers are going into this. And whoever buys that is going to get that healing power coming from her just through a painting. Some of you have healing hands, and this is what you're meant to do. You're meant to heal. You're meant to do Reiki. You're meant to, you know do whatever like Qigong or Tai Chi or whatever that is, you know, whatever it is that, that you're being called to. Some of you have these powers and some of you have healing hands. I was telling Carla this morning when I talked to her, my hands were so sweaty and shaky. Like I couldn't even type because my hands were so sweaty. And she was like, your healing powers, they're probably getting stronger. I'm like, yeah, I feel that because I know I've had dreams about me healing other people. And I know I'm a healer. I could do that. But some of you that's part of your gift. Music is a gift. Your presence is a gift. Your energy is a gift. You are a gift. You have to start owning that. And you have to start believing that you are a gift to people. Okay? Not in an arrogant way. Obviously, stay still humble. But you are a gift to some people. Some people have prayed for you and have asked for a sign or somebody to come into their life that is going to help them or, or sign. And then boom, you show up and it's like, that person was a gift. Exactly. Doesn't even matter if you're in passing with somebody, you're still a gift. So you just being a gift and then having these gifts, that's, thank you, Spirit. They're saying that's a miracle. It's a miracle. You are a miracle. Believe in yourself. Because the more you believe in yourself, the more things will happen. It's like I'm hearing miraculous things are about to happen for you when you do this. I'm telling, being told, cut the deck. Oh, shit. I love you, spirit. I love you, spirit. I keep going back to this one with the key. A lot of you have keys within you that you don't even realize. Like keys, just because it looks like a key, doesn't mean you don't have keys within you. You have keys to your inner, your inner gifts. You have keys within you that are being, un, you know, that are unlocking certain things within you that certain abilities, certain gifts that you didn't even know you had. Some of you are just the key to somebody's happiness. Some of you are just a missing puzzle piece to somebody's life. I'll never forget the day and this really, to this day, really, really, me and, me and my ex-husband argued about this one day. Um, and I told him why it meant so much to me. I had years ago, five years ago, when I started my YouTube channel, I was starting my spiritual business. And I had this accountability partner. And he came out of nowhere. I was literally putting it out there to the universe. Like, I need somebody to help me with this because I don't know what I'm doing. He was techni technologically savvy and I wasn't. But I, I had all these gifts and he was just starting out. So what ended up happening was I said something and then he got in touch with me. Next thing you know, like me and him are chatting and it was we got really close really quick. And he became my accountability partner. We were talking every single day. You know, we were healing each other, doing all this kind of stuff, past life regressions, all that kind of stuff. And his wife got on the phone with me one day. She wanted a reading and I did a reading for her. And she said to me, thank you. And I said, what do you mean? And she goes, you saved my husband's life. She goes, the day that he got in contact with you was the day he was going to kill himself. You saved him. 
She's like, so thank you for giving me my husband back. He changed right after he met me. He became more confident in himself, in his beliefs, in his abilities. He became stronger in who he is and he became better at his gifts. And he helped me by actually helping me to become better with, you know, computer stuff. I still don't know it, but that's besides the point. The bottom line is that meant so much to me just to know because I didn't realize that. He never said that to me, but his wife got on the phone with me and told me. So my ex-husband accused me of something and I said to him, I saved his life. That was huge. So to this day, that, that really, really means a lot to me because I know that I'm doing something right. And when you can save somebody's life, just by talking to them, and my hands are getting hot right now as I'm talking about healing, um, just by talking to them, just by looking at them, just by being who you are, you don't realize sometimes what people are really going through. A lot of people have depression or have certain mental instabilities that you don't know about, and they'll never come out and tell you. They'll, they'll act and put a mask on, and then what happens is, you know, they meet you or you come in their presence and then you save them somehow, some way. I'm hearing somebody just got winked at or like a wink, whatever. I'm hearing wink and seeing a wink. But the bottom line is you never know what other people are going through. Look at Robin Williams. He committed suicide. He was depressed all the time, but he made people laugh. You would never know just by looking at that man that he was depressed. Some people hide it very well. And if you're going through depression or if you're going through suicidal thoughts or anything like that, please call a hotline and get help. Because honestly, you're meant here for a reason. You're here for a reason. With that being said, <clears throat> I don't want to get too much into that, but that was just something like you don't know if music or your artistry or whatever can save somebody's life. You just don't know. Pool of Christ light, number 28. Open your heart. Spread unconditional love. <laughs> Again, a lot of you are descendants of Christ and you don't even know it. A lot of you have Jesus as a powerful ascended master coming through for you. A lot of you are connected to Jesus. Yellow butterflies may mean something to you too, but there's something here about the Christ light, the Christ consciousness, right? I did a meditation today. I did a salt bath again because I was told to. So I did. And I did a meditation. And Jesus, I called in Jesus and all the archangels. And when I called in Jesus and I asked if he had a message for me, he had said, be compassionate, stay compassionate, stay compassionate to yourself. Stay gentle, stay gentle with yourself. Stay kind, be kind to yourself. Keep your heart open. You know, like, be who you are. You know, just be pure, pure intentions. That's what the Christ consciousness is literally about. Like, being who you are, but doing it with pure intention and doing it, you know, like, treat people how you want to be treated. Um, I don't believe everything the Bible says. I'm sorry, I don't. And some of you might disagree. That might, you know, it is what it is. I just have different beliefs, but when you open your heart up, you're actually spreading that unconditional love to other people. And we talked about opening your heart. It's not just about receiving love. It's about giving love. When you spread that unconditional love for others, because we are one, we are a collective. We are all the same, different, but the same. We all come from the same, I'm hearing same cloth. Bottom line is, some of you have Jesus as a, as a guide, and there's a reason for it. Be Christ-like. What would, what would he do? You know what I'm saying? Like any ill intent towards you, don't judge it. Don't get mad at it. I know that sounds so stupid because I do get mad at it sometimes, but I realize that you know what? It's okay because I know 
that I am loved by my spirit team, by my loved ones, passed on and here. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to keep spreading that unconditional love. I'm going to keep spreading that light. I'm going to keep, you know, shining my gifts and spreading my gifts with you guys and being this person that I am because I, I don't know what else to do other than this. This is who I am. But when you open up your heart and you spread unconditional love, it really does send a ripple into the planet. And it does send a ripple effect to other people that you touch, physically or energetically. A lot of you are working on the astral realm. A lot of you are having dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Write them down. Write the time. If you're waking up at a certain time every day, look up the angel number. But there's, there's something here about you spreading you know, spreading this love to others. And some of you don't fill up your own cup and you need to start filling up your own cup first. Um, I know I went on a tangent with that, but these, these Oracle cards just, this is important. Be unconditional love. When we love others unconditionally, accepting them for who they are in that moment, Accepting where you are in this moment. You're right where you're supposed to be. But when you accept another person for who they are, it can move mountains. Let's see what else is going on. I'm going to get to the tarot now. Let's see what else is going on. Show me the cards I need to see, please. For concise messages, please. For the collective. This is for the collective. What do we need to know right now? Some of you have been called the black sheep in your family or feel like an outcast in your family. That's okay. You have a different path. Don't worry about it. Just keep doing you. Some of you I'm hearing have drug addiction or are, tr are struggling with certain addictions or codependencies. It's okay. Um... You can heal that. You can help yourself with that. Eight of Cups. A lot of you have, and this is what I'm talking about, leaving something behind and heading towards your true purpose. Some of you are leaving home, splitting from a family, leaving... Um, Moving, I'm hearing that very, very strongly. Full moon is here. There might be something around the full moon that's coming that you don't know. But there's something about you packing your bags and moving to either another environment or moving to another place, another residence, another um, city or state. There's something here about you moving towards your true purpose and moving towards your higher calling. Some of you are leaving a job behind, or some sort of um, stagnancy in your life and in going towards something greater, something bigger, something better. This something about nighttime too. There could be somebody like somebody that's, you know, maybe you and somebody were in a relationship or a commitment and then, you know, you're leaving them or, or they're leaving you. There's something here. But I feel like this is more like, you're going into your divine purpose. You're, you're, you're going towards your divine purpose. Show me more for the collective, please. They don't want these cards. This one, yes. They don't want these cards. Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Yes, you're going towards your true purpose. You're, you've been reflecting on your life. Some of you are really bored in your life and you've been reflecting on it. But what you don't realize is you're, you've been thinking about a different life, like something you could do that's different and it's starting to come to fruition by you just thinking about it and daydreaming about it. You're putting it out to the universe, what you want. And the seven of, seven of Pentacles, they're concocting something up in the ethers. There's something here that has to do with your future. Something about the color purple as well. Purple flowers might mean something as well. The color green, heart space. Again, heart space. Show me, show me more about this, please. 
you're heading towards your happiness. Exactly. Whatever you're about to do and venture on, whatever you're about to put out there to the world, it's going to make, it's going to, it's going to bring joy and happiness to you and to others. Some of you might need to wear the color yellow. Solar plexus energy, standing in your power, calling your power back, but becoming happier within yourself and your abilities. Wheat has to do with knowledge. There's, a, there's knowledge within you, that key again, the keys to knowledge, you have that. And it's going to make you extremely happy. Whatever this is, you're heading towards your, your true happiness. Whatever this is. Your true peace. Your true divine calling. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> six and six. Harmony, right? Six of Pentacles, six of Wands. You're being gifted something. <laughs> Again, the universe, God, your spirit team is blessing you. There's something here about you having an equal give and take. Whatever you're asking for, you're about to receive and you're going to get this public recognition. You're going to get some sort of recognition for who you are because you've been giving out love and you've been, this could be you giving out love to others and constantly giving, 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 and then you're going to be getting something back and you're going to be recognized for it. There's also something here about you becoming very successful in what it is that you want to put out there. This music, this art, whatever this is, dancing, you're going to get, and, and the funny thing is too, I feel like your ancestors, your spirit team, your spirit guides, your archangels, any of your spirit team, they're all rooting you on. They're so happy. And then you have all these people. It's like graduation day. That's what I'm hearing. You graduated because you left something behind. Could be a, a, um, a negative mindset or you could be leaving home to travel somewhere and then something's going to happen. Some of you are travel agents or will be a travel agent and you're going to love this job. But there's something here about you getting recognized, getting the public recognition in front of everybody for your, your divine work, for your work, whatever this is. And you're going to receive, I'm hearing some, there's lots of money coming in for you. Your finances are going to be better. This is going to make you extremely happy. Money doesn't buy happiness, but what you do is going to bring in revenue. There's something there. You graduated. I'm hearing you graduated because you decided to leave something behind. And again, this could be a move. It doesn't have to be, but this could also be uh, a mindset. You decided you're not listening to the negative talk anymore. And that's in your head. You decided you're going to let go of people and places and things that have kept you stuck and stagnant. Whatever it is that you got yourself moving out of. And I'm, I really feel like some of you have a negative mindset sometimes where you think you're not good enough or it's never going to go anywhere. You know, the music or the artistry, whatever it is. Your, your book, maybe you've been writing a book for a while and then you're like, you know what? I want to get back into writing this book, but I don't know if it's ever going to go somewhere. It doesn't matter. Do it anyway. Yes, spirit, I'm listening to you because apparently I'm supposed to be doing a lot more than what I'm doing here, but that's besides the point. But you're going to be getting public recognition. You're going to become very successful and there's going to be a lot of attention on you, a lot of attention on you, but you have to make that decision. What more do they have to know? What more does the collective need to know? Yeah, I'm hearing staying in your truth, standing in your power, becoming abundant. You're going to be very, very abundant. Yeah, see? Leaving a negative mindset. There's something about you being in your head. And again, this could be anything about work because this is teamwork. This is compromise. This is collaboration. There's something here about this eight of swords making you feel stuck in your head, stuck in your mind. A lot of you have been in a mental imprisonment for the longest time about what it is that you want to do. And spirit's asking you to make a decision now because you know what? You choose your reality. You create it. I told you guys in my last couple videos, I think one of them, I sat there and said, I'm rewriting my story. I'm rewriting that script. I do not I am not going to listen 
to that negative talk anymore, telling me I'm not good enough, that I'm not brave enough, that I am, you know, heavy and fat and all this. I'm not listening to that anymore. That I'm, you know, that, that, <laughs> that I'm not helping and inspiring. I'm not listening to this shit anymore. I'm leaving that behind. I've left that behind. I've healed all of that. Yes, there is more healing I need to do. I know that. But when it comes to that negative mindset, it's like, it's like I'm hearing clack, 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 clack. Like I'm hearing that. Whatever that is inside of your head, get it out of there. It doesn't matter. That's not you. That's not your spirit team. Your spirit team will never tell you that you're not worth it or you're not good enough. You know? That mental imprisonment you put yourself in a lot of times because you feel like, you know, it's not going to amount to anything. Maybe it's because you were told as a child or told when you were a kid by someone in your family or friends or, or bullied as a kid, you're not going to amount to anything. I could tell you right now, my science teacher, when I was growing up, looked at me and said, you're going to fail. I was told by a friggin' priest at 13, you're going to hell. Am I? I don't, I don't think I'm going to hell because I think I'm creating my own reality and I'm in heaven because I'm making my own happiness. Am I going to fail? No, I feel like I'm successful because I'm doing what I'm doing. Just because I'm not, you know, working a nine to five job, just because I'm not going to college and having a big degree doesn't matter. I still feel successful because I'm literally working towards what I'm doing. I'm working on my true purpose and going towards my spiritual path. This is what I'm meant to do. So therefore, whatever they say don't matter. But I have heard it all. <laughs> I have literally heard it all. Um, don't listen to that. Don't listen to that crap. Get out of your head because there is a collaboration that's coming in. We talked about Jesus and Mary. This is the Holy Trinity. They are here guiding you and helping you. There is somebody in your ancestral realm. Could be you could be connected to the Druids, doesn't have to be. But there's somebody here that's very wise, very old, ancient, from a long bloodline. They're here helping you as well. There's some sort of, I told you guys earlier, there's some sort of concoction going on in the ethers. They're concocting something for you. They're making this happen for you. You're going to be successful. There's some teamwork or business partnership or collaboration coming in. Somebody is going to notice you. Someone. It doesn't matter who it is. Just keep pushing forward or persevering. Six of cups right here. Yes. This is something maybe that you had in your past that you didn't even think was possible anymore, that you let go of a long, long time ago, and now your soul is calling for it to come back again. Whatever this is, this has been coming in really, really slow. But they needed you to get to this point where you know who you are, you're standing in your truth, you're sharing your gifts, and sharing your talents with the world. And now it's going to take off. There's something here about a past person. Or a past kind of situation. That has been moving very, very slow. But time is just an illusion. You have all these clocks, right? Some of you, I keep hearing like some of you want a happy family. If you're in childbearing age. And some of you are like tick, 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 tick. I thought I would be here by now, but I'm not. Time doesn't fucking matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm jumping timelines constantly. It's a, <laughs> time change, time time jumping is a whole other ball game. But the thing here is, I also feel like your money's been coming in really slow, but it's about to take off. I keep feeling that because asking you shall receive. You're gonna get whatever it is that you're asking for. Be patient. Practice patience. This Knight of Pentacles being here with his clocks. I keep hearing and I keep seeing somebody looking at the clock like I'm losing time. I'm losing time or, or you know, like I'm too old for this or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit. You're not too old for nothing. You're still here. Make a difference. Some of you just want to make a difference in the world and you don't know how. But you're being guided somewhere. Let it happen. Go with the flow. Show me more about what's coming. I said your ancestors. 
I love this card in this deck because I always, always see my loved ones and my ancestors right here. And I always say these are your ancestors, your passed on loved ones, your ancestral lineage. There's that owl that's wise, right? I feel like that's God. And these are your ancestors and they're helping you to make this happen. <laughs> Judgment. With the two of wands. Some of you are at a crossroads, but what you don't understand is, and you don't see coming, is these ships are starting to head into the shore. He's not paying attention. He's distracted with something else, thinking, woe is me, I'm at this crossroads, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but Spirit's like, we're bringing this in. We're all helping you. We're bringing this in. This is your karma. Judgment is something from your past that's coming into your present that will affect your future. Your future is being affected by whatever you're doing right now. So when you decide to move forward with whatever it is that you want to do, do it. Because I feel like your ancestors, your loved ones, your benevolent spirit team, your spirit team, we all have a spirit team. We all have guardian angels. We all have archangels, angels, elementals. We all have them. Mythical creatures, doesn't matter. I believe in so many different things. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what anybody believes. Like, what, you know, if they think what they think of me. I don't care. Bottom line is, you have, you, everybody here has a spirit team. They're waiting on the sidelines. They're waiting on the bench. They're waiting in line going, are you going to, are you going to call me to, mm, I could help her out. Because now I know I've heard it but to myself. I could help her out, but she keeps sitting there thinking she's alone. I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. I wouldn't be here where I am today if I was alone. I'm always surrounded by divine beings all the time. I hear stuff all the time in my apartment. I was doing a reading yesterday and I kept hearing a noise in my living room and I'm like, there's no way anything, there's nothing moving in my living room. But I heard like a weird noise and I was like, yeah, that's that's somebody here. The bottom line is, and I know some people it would freak out, but honestly, like shit happens here all the time. I'm just so used to it because I know that I'm protected. Um, something about the green and the blue flame, the heart chakra yet again, but the blue, some of you need to clear out your throat chakra. Communicate what it is that you want. Communicate your needs to the universe, to spirit. Write them down. You're having, this is your judgment. This is it. This is it. Your spirit team is bringing this in for you. And they're coming in. Your ships are literally almost at shore. Honestly, I feel like your ships are already here. But you're still going, wait. Is it coming yet? Is it coming yet? Because you're so worried about the damn time. Stop worrying about time. It's going to happen when you let go. I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen when you let go. But your ancestors are here. Judgment is here. That's karma. A lot of you have good karma coming. Show me more about this. Temperance. The infinity symbol yet again. Whatever this is, you have an infinite source of ancestors and, a, and, and an infinite source of guides. Infinite. Sometimes you will graduate. Majority of the time you got to graduate. Like whatever, like if you're ascending and whatever, you're always going to graduate. So your guides are going to be stronger. Your guides are going to be, new guides are going to come in. Doesn't mean you're going to let go of the other guides. It's just new guides are going to come in and that's what happens. And then as you graduate, new levels, new devils, right? The tests are going to get stronger. The bigger the the bigger the dream, the bigger the the ask, the bigger or the the more the devils. So you just got to pass these tests. It's okay. We're all tested. It doesn't really matter. This is kind of how it goes. You get tested, you feel like your life is falling apart. It's not. It's not falling apart. It's not falling apart. Patience. I said practice patience. You're in alignment. You're now in alignment for what is coming. It's here. 
equilibrium, balance. Whatever this is, is going to balance everything out. And it's going to be, I'm hearing, better than your wildest dreams. Literally. Some of you come from a line of witches. Some of you, it's so funny because I'm getting like Hufflepuff. I don't know. I'm getting like Hogwarts, but I'm getting Hufflepuff. Um, if you guys ever watched Harry Potter, Hogwarts is real. I know me and Carla just talked about this today, but I'm like, okay, Hogwarts is fucking real. Like it for real. It is real. We are magical beings in a magical world, but we make it so like logical and rational. And we're always like, oh, you know, like the 3D world, you know, the paycheck. We just live in paycheck to paycheck and then we die. Yeah, no bullshit. That's not why we're here. We are magical beings. Some of you have to watch Harry Potter. Some of you need to watch Harry Potter and really open your mind when you're watching Harry Potter from the beginning to the end, every single one. <laughs> but there's something here about like witches. Some of you might be witches or have this witchy power. I'm hearing follow the yellow brick road and I'm seeing like Dorothy clapping her no place like home. Gold and silver chalice. I'm telling you, some of you mix metals or like alchemy. Some of you have the gift of alchemizing and alchemy. That's important. That's huge. When you alchemize the energy, whatever negative stuff is coming at you, alchemize it, transmute it, and, and make it into what you want it. balance two of pentacles right here i told you this is gonna bring you into balance show me more for everybody here for the collective you're gonna have a lot of people watching you you might have some stalkers you might have people watching your social media some of again some of you might have a platform right now or be on social media and, and you have a lot of people watching you i feel like there's a group watching you and they are literally going to be like, you think that they're actually haters, but in reality, they're actually your fans. They'll never tell you to your face. They're going to hide behind a computer and be like, eh, but in reality, they're like, but I do like her energy, but I do like her shit. Yeah. Page of Swords, you got people watching you. And it's going to be okay. Knight of Cups. This could be a person coming in that you don't know about that's been watching you and that's going to see you. And that's why I'm saying you got somebody that's going to offer you an opportunity. This could be an, op um, an opportunity in love or it could be an opportunity coming in because they recognized you, because you got chosen. Because somebody said, you know what? I love that person's music. You know what? That person's a great dancer. You know what? That person can paint. That person could draw. That person's got some creativity. I want that. And I feel like some of you are going to be getting into a business partnership that you're not even knowing. Some of you are going to quit your jobs and go into entrepreneurship. There's an opportunity coming in. And it's going to shock the shit out of you. Because they see you as the Nine of Pentacles. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. <laughs> I did not expect this reading to go this way, but I am so happy it did because sometimes I get tired of love readings. I mean, I just do, but this is how the energy is going. Knight of Cups, the tower. This opportunity is going to be an opportunity of a lifetime for some of you. Grab it. Because sometimes, you know how they say opportunity knocks? Not every time an opportunity is going to come that's going to be like this. And some of you are going to hesitate because you're not sure where it's going to go. You're not sure if this is what it's going to, if, if this is okay. But whatever is going to happen, it's going to be a breakthrough. And it's going to bring in that pentacles. It's going to bring in money. It's going to bring in revenue. It's going to help you to succeed even more and go even farther than you ever dreamed. The nine of pentacles is right here. Again, witches, right? Some of you are so independent and so self-sufficient, you don't want to take help. So this opportunity that's going to come in, they're going to offer you help and you're going to be like, no, I'm good. Stop. Stop pushing away blessings that are coming to you because you 
are literally working towards your goals. You're independent, you're self-sufficient, preemptress energy. You know, you're the catch, you're the package. They're going to see you as the catch or the package. It could be a person coming in that sees you as the package, as the catch. Loves the fact that you're successful, independent, self-sufficient, can do it on your own, but you're also feisty. You go with your intuition, preemptress energy. You're in that receiving mode. Be ready. Be prepared. Let it come. Receive it. This Nine of Pentacles energy, this is energy that's like so confident and so like vivacious. Like I said to you before, you might be going through a glow up right now and you're being noticed. Whatever this is, some of you know. Some of you know something's coming. Oh my. Okay, so we'll take all these. <laughs> This is this could lead you to the love of your life and you wouldn't even know it. High priestess. Some of you are so highly intuitive and highly psychic. And these abilities are coming out. You have ancient wisdom within you and you have the keys within you, the knowledge. You hold the secrets to a lot of things that people need. And I feel somebody on my left side right now. Some of you... Again, going back to witches, high priestess, some of you are seers, oracles, prophets. And you're holding on to, like, you're holding yourself back because you don't want to put yourself out there because you're so scared. Stop being scared. Some of you know something's about to happen and something's about to come in. You just feel it and you just know it. And that intuition is telling you that it's about to happen and it's about to change your life. There's a decision that's going to have to be made. Some of you are indecisive about what you want to do for your future. It's okay. Asking you shall receive. Ask to be guided. There's my phone. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're going to be guided no matter what. You just got to make a decision. Decide today what you want to do with your life and do it. You don't know how. You don't know when. You're just going to do it. Okay, I decide today that... I'm going to learn more about who I am, or I'm going to go take a cooking class, or I'm going to go take a painting class. And then that painting class or that cooking class leads you to something else. It's massive. But some of you keep yourselves locked up in a bedroom. I know I do that sometimes <laughs> because I'm herming, I'm hermiting, I'm protecting, I'm doing like, I'm making myself happy. That's what I do. I'm protecting my energy. Some of you are hiding out and not wanting to be seen. Stop. There's something here about, I just, I swear to God, I saw all of this move in the card. Okay. Just going to go there. Some of you are holding yourselves back. I also feel like this is somebody here. That's not wanting to let go of who you are, of you. And I feel like if this is a person coming in because you got this, whatever this is, is destined. Whatever this is, is destined. There's, there could be a person here wanting to offer you something because they see you as the catch. It's going to shock you. It's going to, you're not expecting it. You know something's about to happen. You just don't know what it is. You don't know if it's with this person or another person or whatever. But, you, but there's a choice that's about to be made because this person is choosing to come in because they want to be with you. That's another story. However, there's something here about you hiding out and keeping yourself hidden. It's time to shine your light. Accept who you are. And really, really, I feel like I have to read that. I'll read that in a minute. But there's something here about divine timing, destined, fate. Divine masculine, divine feminine. We all have feminine and mas masculine energy in us. You're in union with yourself. By you being in union with yourself, <laughs> 
with you being in union with yourself, it's going to create six of swords. There it is. It's going to create you moving forward. There's something about something happening here. Could be with a love interest. Doesn't have to be. This could lead you to a new love interest. Or someone, you know, from your past coming back around because judgment and six of cups is also past. doesn't have to be. But there's something here about a faded love. And it's going to start taking off. And it's going to move forward. There's somebody here about a car wanting to maybe go for a drive or a road trip. Maybe that's what you're called to do. Go for a road trip. But there's something here about this divine union coming in, possibly, that is faded. This divine union... That you're, maybe this is what you're calling in. Maybe this is going to lead you to this divine union. This could be within you as well. Like I said, your balance, you're, you're starting to be in alignment and balance within yourself. And now this is divine intervention. This is divine timing. The divine has work, has, has this work at play. And it's going to bring balance into your life. I feel like there's somebody here that wants to take you for a ride. <laughs> and the Hierophant. Now you got the High Priestess and the Hierophant. There's somebody here that wants to take you for a ride. <laughs> I'm getting really, really warm as I'm talking. <sighs> really hot. Somebody wants to take you away from something. Somebody wants to take you away from whatever it is that you've been you know, holding back. I don't know. But either way, I feel like this person's coming in. They're moving towards you. And I feel like there's a commitment on the table. If you want it. This is a big spiritual connection coming in. If this is a past person, this is a spiritual connection between the two of you. And it will start coming in. But it's when you're successful. When you're actually making the decision to put yourself first and put your stuff out there and be who you truly are. Because this Hierophant, this is abilities coming in too. Spiritual awakening, ascending. You're ascending to a different realm. Spirit is guiding this. Whatever this is, you just have to be ready to answer the call. You have to be prepared and be ready. This could be a teacher coming in too, or maybe this is a mentor or a spiritual teacher that's going to see you and that's going to want to help you through your journey. But the Hierophant is commitment as well. When you commit to yourself and you choose yourself and you put all that love in yourself and you do what's right for you, it's amazing what happens with the universe. It just brings all this stuff into you. But there's something here about the spiritual connection. There's a spiritual connection here that is like, could lead to marriage is what I'm hearing. It could lead to marriage. There's somebody here that either, either this person is driving to you to come and see you, or they want to take you away from something. They want to take you away from all the chaos that's always been in your life. They want to take you to new adventures. They want to go on a road trip or maybe a vacation or something. There's something here about travel. This is incredible. I'm not going to dive more deep into that love reading thing, but whatever it is that you're doing right now, and if you're feeling bored and you're feeling like your life is stagnant, there's a reason why your life is stagnant. It's because, yes, you're in the void, which is okay. You don't have to keep doing, 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 but... That stagnancy, it's almost like when um, when you leave clothes in the washing machine for three or four days. You totally forget about it. And then you take them out and you're like, man, I got to wash them again. You smell them and you're like, oh, they smell. I got to wash them again. It's like that stagnancy. Like they smell like raunchy, right? So you got to redo them. Maybe what you need to do and you're being called to do is rewrite your story. Rewrite your script redo. I, that's what it is. This, I feel like also this person wants a redo. Whoever this is, is coming back around and they want to redo with you. And it's going to lead to possible marriage. If that's what you're tr truly wanting. If you're already married and that's not part of your story, then whatever it is that you've been holding back, holding yourself back from, 
You're being called to take a step forward and do it because it's going to land you into more success and you're going to be seen for your work. I'm hearing your work of art. You're going to be seen, really seen. Your ancestors are helping it with helping this, helping you with this, and it's going to bring in more revenue. And I'm hearing the time is now. The time is now. With that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. It's over an hour and I have to get to my daughter's soccer game in a couple hours, but I want to talk to her a lot. So I can go have a cigarette. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Again, like the video on your way out. If you have not liked the video already, only if, you know, well, that, yes, energy exchange, that is an energy, an energy exchange. However, if you have not subscribed to my channel and you like my energy, you like how I read, um, like the video as well as subscribe. I can pick up on your energy a lot better when you subscribe. And I can also, you know, because this is a collective read. So I'm picking up a whole bunch of people. <sighs> we would love to have you. We would love to have you. This is about like this. This channel is mostly about healing and everything. I love it. So anyway, if you want a personal reading with me or you want to send me donations, please look into the description box. Everything is there. Email me. Do not get scammed. I will not come to you. Do not get scammed. Make sure you're sending the donations. Anyone who has 11109, anyone who has sent me a donation, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I know I'm doing something right and I'm so appreciative and grateful. Gratitude is the best attitude to have. I'm telling you right now, gratitude is the attitude. Just be, gra be grateful for everything. That literally ripple effect. And be really grateful, like really feel it. Um, anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.